uh, we already heard about two types of boiler one is like fire tube boiler and water tube boiler in this video we will be discussing about the comparison between water uh, fire tube boiler and as well as water tube boiler so in fire tube boiler from the name itself we can understand uh, the fire is passed through the tubes and it's surrounded by the water jackets okay that is called fire tube boiler when it come to water tube boiler what happens is water is circulating through the through the tubes and it is surrounded by the fire fire or flue gases actually so that is the basic idea of this tube boilers only the difference is uh, the medium of thing we will be passing through the tubes uh, in this video we will be discussing about one uh, one type of a boiler it is called a fire tube boiler uh, as we know that there are generally two types of boiler one is fire tube and other is water tube boiler in fire tube what happens is uh, in uh, through the tubes fire will be passing and uh, it will be surrounded by water but when it comes to water tube uh, to, water is passed through the through, uh, tubes and uh, the heat is surrounded by the fire is surrounded by the tubes so that is a basic difference so let's see what a fire tube boiler is you can see this is the uh, some of the components or overall point of view you can see so let's see in detail so the important thing is that uh, you can see the tubes over there you can see many tubes these are the fire tubes we are using the fire is passing through this particular tube and here you can see a closed chamber in that closed chamber water is stored due to the uh, heating effect through this particular tube that due to conduction that water is getting heated and steam is generated and we will be taking this out so here we can see water jackets as well as fire tubes and here we can see a particular area here this place we are burning the coal we need to create a fire we have to burn some fuel so coal we are burning here and there is a chamber outside also because whatever the ashes and all those things it will be collected through this particular place and we can remove it over time whenever we uh, need it so this is the internal structure as you can see so let's see and we can see uh, i'll show you where the water is coming from here we can see a valve mechanism over here pipe and all water is entering to the water jacket through particular through this particular pipe and let's see where the steam is coming out uh, and here we can see some uh, valve mechanism these are the safety valves uh, if suppose the pressure of the steam exceeds more than the limit what we want it will release and uh, whatever the excess steam it will be passed through out through that safety valves the main purpose of safety valve is to prevent any accidents due to higher pressure or something so we can set the values what we want to and here is the steam outlet how can we identify steam outlet because there will be a coating or insulation like this in the outside because we don't want to lose the heat efficiency of the particular steam so you can see the steam will be taken out from the top side and it will be distributed as you can see in the top there are many lines wherever we want suppose we want to drive a heat engine so we get over there we can see heat engine if you want to drive the heat engine we can take the hot steam connection to over there so uh, and one of the thing is the efficiency compared to the water to boiler to fire to boiler efficiency is compared less here because the uh, area of fire exposure is very less and is entirely surrounded by water but when it to come to the fire tube okay and another thing we can see that whatever thing we are burning here that hot gases passes through this particular tubes through this area that you can see how the flow gases are passing through the tubes through this place so this is all about uh, fire tube boiler and here we can see some gauges and all to see what is the pressure of steam and all those things available for us and water will be also continuously circulating whenever uh, according to your uh, particular requirement so thank you so much in this video we will be discussing about one kind of a boiler it's called water tube boiler in the previous video we discussed about fire tube boiler where uh, like flue gases are passed through the tubes here from the name itself we can know that water tube boiler that means through the tubes water we are circulating and it is surrounded by hot gases in the chamber you can see in the bottom thing so uh, see how I look at this in the bottom side you can see the burning happens and there will be the heat generation happens over there 
and on the top side you can see a compressor like structure or that is a tank that is a storage tank for the steam from there you can see the so many white tubes are going that is not white actually there is a insulation provided on the tubes because to prevent the loss of heat from the steam when we take uh, these are some of the lines wherever we need for drive a steam engine or any kind of steam equipment we can use that steam so let's see how the exactly the working happen uh, takes place so first thing the fuel uh, you can see there's a tank over there in that we are in this particular thing we are using furnace oil as a fuel you can see the furnace oil will, will be uh, coming to the uh, through the tubes, you can see the oil is coming to this particular place, and it was uh, in the, uh, like that fuel is supplied to the combustion chamber, and there will be burning will happen uh, takes place due to burning there will be hot gases will be forming, and inside this there will be tubes, inside the tube the water will be circulating, due to the heat of the hot, uh, hot gases in the chamber, the water in the uh, tubes becoming evaporated and create steam and the whatever the steam generated during the process it is collected over uh, you can see there is a uh, two tubes are coming from this place it is going to a chamber on the top you can see a yeah, chamber over there to store the steam similarly there are another outlet from the behind also uh, taking steam to the chamber once the steam is stored over there you can see there are safety valves are provided because if the uh, capacity is increasing we have to release the steam for our safety valve is provided so from the tops we are taking steam out as you can see the white pipelines over there uh, the steam will be extracted according to the requirement and we can also uh, regulate the flow of the steam using different valves provided there according to our requirement and so this is the basic working principle of a water tube boiler simply it means water is circulated through the tubes and it is surrounded by the okay and you can see another thing how the there will be we will be burning the fuel uh, in the chamber so there will be some uh, because of the burning there will be burning products will be uh, created like carbon monoxide and all and all those this stuff will be scavenged out through this particular tube to the atmosphere you will be seeing in factories like boilers are emitting some like emissions and all through these tubes so this is one of uh, it's a medium type boiler you can see the capacity is quite more over here and according to the requirement we can increase the size of the boiler or reduce the size of the boiler so this is all about water to boiler thank you